Okay, so today we got Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, Safari. Uh, I think we got a couple other little things, but uh, we got a good story from Russell Simmons too. Okay, so anyways, let's get into this. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. Okay, so this is just a quick morning update on everything that's going on. Uh, 50 Cent, just for some humor before we get into the bullshit, okay? And Lil Wayne uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so 50 Cent was crying, uh, pretending to cry on Instagram after buying himself pretty much looks like a million dollars worth in cars, all right? He's loading up a new Lambo on the truck. He's got that new Cullinan uh, Rolls Royce. And I think he got a drop top Rolls Royce. He already had another one. He got another one. Okay, so he, he spent like over a million dollars in cars. Okay, anyways, then he's like, nobody bought me anything for Christmas. <laughs> it's like, get out of here, man. Nobody can buy you anything for Christmas. You're too rich. Um, so then, so let's get into, I'll get back to 50 Cent in a second. So, um, Little Wayne exposes the fact that Jay-Z helped him with his taxes. How is that possible, man? Like, Little Wayne didn't have enough money to pay his taxes. Like that, it, it, it makes me like, yo, what is going on out here? That's people like Jay Z. You know what I mean? He helped me when I was really, really, really down. Really, really, really down. There's people like Swiss Beats that's gonna send me every beat he make and want me to rap on every single one until I got my situation straight. He don't want me to talk about it, don't want me to tell nobody, Jay don't want me to tell nobody, that man helped me with my tax. Okay, so that made me like, whoa, I, I know he was down because of the Birdman deal, right? Birdman was holding him back with Carter Five, right? But the taxes? Bro, you've made <laughs> over $100 million. How did you not have enough money to pay your taxes? That's just shows you guys, okay? And and I, Lil Wayne's one of the goats to me. I mean, this guy's work ethic and the way he puts things out and the way he words things, dope, okay? But, okay, this shows you guys that these rappers, when they're buying all these cars, these Bugattis, everything else, okay? They're making reckless moves, man, because you got, when you're in entertainment of any sort, you have to put away at least two thirds of your money. You just gotta tuck it, man, because you don't know. And then when you start spending, as as just coming in so fast, that's how you see these people get into trouble. You know, it's just facts. Look, even Little Wayne got into trouble. You never would have thought Little Wayne would have had money trouble. Uh, but this is when he was like on stage. Remember, he kept throwing up the Rock, and he said it's the Rock, and he signed a deal with the Rock Nation of some sort, obviously. Um, I think that's how he got that liquor deal. Who knows? You know, he did something, something with money came out of that. Then we got Safari. Okay, he bought a house. Salute to him. He bought a new house. He's talking about that. Then he turns it into a quick L. Okay, he says, a uh, what do you say? Uh, a while back, he said. Whoever is the baddest rug in the finger you can hold, I just want to ice her up. So, you know, he's been talking about wanting to get wifed up, right? Well, he's been dating Erica Mena for a while, and he proposed to her. That house is now hers, bro. Like, you, this is going to be one of your biggest mistakes ever, okay? Uh, Bow Wow went through it. I, I love it when people don't think things through. Like, hey, man, before you get engaged and get married, and I know why this happened. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty convenient this happened right when, uh, <laughs> right when Joe Budden and Sin Santana get engaged. And Sin Santana used to be in a relationship with um, Erica Mena. Now, this is this is not going to end well. I can tell you that right now. And a big one hundred seventy five thousand dollar ring, like. Trust me, man. If Wayne was having trouble with his taxes at one point, Safari is going to be having some issues, man. Okay. Uh, and salute to Wayne. Uh, then we got, um, la okay, so we got 50 Cent. Also, Russell Simmons told this story uh, about 50 Cent with an Uzi or something. But he's never afraid of the world. He's always giggling. And I remember this story. It's why I always say, nigga, are you enlightened? Because he... He's sitting there, they're filming a video, and, and Suge Knight, if you know the polarizing figure, 
sitting here with a gun in his lap and there's four other guys and they're all like really menacing and they're gonna extort the video. And 50 Cent sees them, starts laughing and starts running full speed. He runs to his, his trailer, gets to Uzi and runs out and chases them. They get in the car and drive off. He barks at like a dog. And he's laughing and shit. These niggas ain't gonna be back again here. He's been shot nine times. And most in like, at, at one time, not. 50 Cent is a crazy guy, man. You never want to have a problem with him. I'm going to have plenty of news later, guys. I got a couple things lined up. This is just a quick morning thing. Uh, I probably missed something, so I'll catch you in the next video. Appreciate you guys. I'll check you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas. I appreciate you guys watching. Bless all of you. I appreciate you. Peace. This is Jordy Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I will check you guys later. Thanks.